Hello everybody, Thanks. welcome to the round of 32 match between Martin Septim's Amazons and Mr. Page's Chaos. In the booth with me is Faimir, hello. Hello everybody, we're here to watch uh, a game between uh, two people that are supposed to be dissing at the Blood Bowl. Martin Septim beat Andy Davo against everybody's uh, thoughts. <laughs> and Mr. Page, a classic streamer that has been streamed a lot of times, and now is with a absolutely monstrous chaos team. Yeah, it is monstrous, but there is a lot of claw missing, as uh, as Dog to the Dog says. There is a lot of claw bloat, isn't there, in this team? He's got about five claws that aren't going to be doing anything at all. Well, they'll have a bit of use against Zara the Slayer, but uh, Martin Septim is down by a lot of TV. He's got Zara the Slayer and a wizard and a bribe. <laughs> Maybe he should have gone with a uh, babe rather than a bribe, but hey. I guess the bribe is to uh, discourage the piling ons. But he's got some nice players in his team, hasn't he, Mr. Page? Like, okay, he's got the kind of wasted claw. Well, not yet, yeah, basically wasted claw. But he's got this strength 4, edge 4, and the edge 5. He's got some. He's got some interesting tools. Not just a brainless chaos team. It's an absolutely brainless chaos team with extra agi. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, it's not like I mean, no tentacles, uh, no stand firm, no it's guard and killing. <laughs> well, so Martin Septim basically giving up the drive here to uh, base some. Chaos players. If we can isolate some of the players and foul them, he yep. will have a good chance there. Yep, foul the tackler, that's always good, isn't it? Yeah. Of course. I mean, once, cage, once a page does the cage, it's like not many chances of uh, you breaking in. No. More than enough guard and strength. He does have the wizard though, doesn't he? So, but of course, if you're just trading blitzers, he's got claw pawn, well, tackle pawn, and you don't. But then I guess you can foul him. So I, I don't, know, I don't really like the, the you know fouling non-tacklers. Obviously, he did foul the tackle mate, you know, rather than hanging on. Like he can't pile on here, Mister Page, because he, he will get gang fouled. So it is. It is good, I guess, having the bribe and the dirty player means that. Wow. Tackle Pommer is exposed. This guy Andy. is knocked over. And foul. Oh, my name's Susan. He's got the knockdown. Yeah. I hate doing this block first, what? though. Massive uh, foul coming, 100% guarantee. Yeah, because oh. because that meant that he had to do this block first, which he could have just not. He could have just moved around, d hit this guy, you know, and then got him yeah. out of the way first. I I kind of hated that having to do that block. Before, but there you go, right, in for the big foul now. I'm not Susan, I was correct. <laughs> Though I didn't like doing this, it's exposed the dirty player to a blitz, right? Who is un un she's defenseless. Yeah. yeah, that's the one square for the one of the ones gets to do the foul. Yeah. So it'll be the top uh, right or something like that. Yeah, well, uh, this, so th this one was yet to activate, right? So this one could have come around the bottom. Well, okay, he's getting in the way of the drive a bit, but I think. That's not very important to get in the way of the drive. I think this should have come here, and then you could foul from a completely protected spot. I think that was the play. I think how you win this game is, look, it's obviously getting blitzed. Like, and he can pile on as well now, because he's a dirty player. Whereas if he'd hit the other one, he couldn't have even piled on. Yeah, oh, no need to even pile on. No, TP's gone. Bribe gone, DP gone, there's a lot of uh, the chances of Marty Septim gone there. Mm. 
pretty rough. He can target, you know, players on the outside, but he doesn't have. He only has one mighty blow. Yeah. So. No. What? Well, it's okay. Mr. Page is just doing a geofight. Let's go. And he's double wanded. <laughs> I don't want to say that was shit and wrong, but it was. Uh, it was, that was both a little of those unnecessary. Yeah, it was unnecessary and shit and wrong. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. That was bad. I wow. mean, if you are worried about the wizard, just hand off to a uh, to the some random goat, and that's it. But yeah, that is that is. Uh... Yeah, that was that was terrible. I can't spin it. I'm not. I'm not a rebel commentator. It was an interesting decision. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, things happen. It uh, rolls, dice were rolled. You know, you never know what could happen. But uh, same way that exposing the DP was a bad idea, going for the quickest score there, I think it was a, also another bad idea. Yeah. Oh, well, amazingly, because the Amazons have managed to get the ball into a cage after that. <laughs> yes, and there is one Amazon taking care of two Chaos players that didn't get up for some uh, reason past time. Yeah, very good point. I mean, obviously, Mr. Page was unlucky at double one it, but I think it was... Like, I can see why he did it, right? He, he, he's got two tacklers, one with Mighty Blow and one with tackle palm like he's got two tacklers off the field they, he gets them on for the thing but I don't know I don't know I didn't, I didn't like it have, you know no need to that. wait another turn I didn't I did not like the decision in my opinion God, way to confuse things, Volk. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mordred. Yeah, I can I can see why he did it, but I just think he was completely and utterly catastrophically mistaken. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, who knows? Maybe uh, Martin Septin dropped the early GG, you know, and uh, Mr. Uh, Page crumbled under, under the pressure. Yeah. But... You have more strength, more guard. There is not any single Amazon that is actually dangerous to your players. Hey, he's, he's done the dirty one day. Some nice one in nine dodges there. Is he out of range of this fella? Yes. That was the important one, wasn't it? Being out of range of him. And now Martin Septing, with more or less uh, two sticks and a rope, has been able to divide the whole Chaos team and the best Chaos players are isolated or on the ground or... So yeah, yeah, well played by Martin. Yeah. And now we're rolling dabs. Well, that's a nice cast. That was, pretty, that was pretty good. But yeah, losing the ball on your drive and then not having to use the wizard is pretty bad. I thought he was going to blitz the ball carrier with a Wait, what? mighty what? blow. Why isn't he in front of these guys? What the? I don't like this. This isn't even a cage, what the fuck? <laughs> but like, he could have just been here and then blitzed him. Or he could have been one back and been in a cage. I don't know what he was playing at there. 
Uh, it was going to fish the, for the power with the mighty blow. Like, he hasn't blitzed any. Oh, okay, here's the blitz. He's doing an uphill blitz. Okay, he puts tackle on him. Okay, I guess that's something weird to just leave the 1D. I mean, like, fair enough, the 1D isn't great, especially without a reroll. But weird to just leave it on when he could have just not left it on. Like, I'd rather my opponent had <laughs> not a 1D on the ball. Yep. Yes, okay, you need to roll a 6. Okay, but why risk that? Yeah. Wait. It's not taking it. Like, I don't mind not taking it either, I just I just mind leaving it on, you know? He's going for the kills. Got to go for the kills, haven't you? But yeah, the, the, the songs have a big vent, so yeah, you need to work hard. <sighs> Doesn't get this guy back in the action, that is. I'm not going to say it's wrong, but it's not what I would have done. Who can say if it was right or wrong? <laughs> Gets the pow. And there we go. Gets the AV break. Love to see it. Gets the KO. Yep, beautiful. So now he surely he will stall this properly. No, he won't. He'll just score. <laughs> All right, I've, I've got no idea what's happening in this game. Um, Martin Septin is from the Chanter School of uh, Offensive. Uh, aggression, 100%. I don't know how on earth you score there. You've got the wizard, he's got no rerolls. It was easy to stall for another turn, at least another turn, easily, because his edge 5 was down. His edge 4 was up here, because he hadn't brought him back for some reason. He's got, he's down two tackle mighty blows. He could have just stalled it out that half easily. And stalling out the half is huge, because you've got you've got a tackle pommer KO'd and a mighty blow rackle KO'd, so you only want those guys to have one roll. So it's imperative you try to stall the half out. He can't think he can score another one. No, that's ridiculous. He can't thing. think that. That's, that's gonna. I think that's what he's preparing for. That's insane. That's literally insane, Bob. That's insane. That's insanity. If that's what he was thinking, he is clinically insane, and should be locked up. Section him. Section Martin Septum. That's what I say. That's my analysis of if that's what he was thinking. He's thinking that. <laughs> he's thinking. I now can use the wizard. Ball, catch the ball, boom, there you go. Because what's the point of uh, making a defense, you know, so close to the <laughs> LOS? I mean, who can who can say if it was right or wrong, but I think he should be fucking sectioned. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was, you know, I just want to defend. The players, the back players will be much behind, a couple of scores behind or something like that. Yeah. That was that was insane. I deserve to lose now, I think I accept him for that. And hello Goliath, glorious tank there. Done a bit of the uh done a bit of the train this morning. Didn't get it finished. I mean, he's got an edge 5 and an edge 4 and a strength 4 and... Oh, yes, Mordred, yeah, he anticipated the heat. And thought, if I get my players KO'd... <laughs> That's it, he anticipated... There are three kickoffers offers that benefit me of all of them, yeah, when I count one of them coming. <laughs> I think it's true that Mr. Page hasn't got a reroll, but, like, you can't push for the 2-0. That's fucking crazy. That's, it's genuinely fucking crazy. Like, Mr. Page could have got a, could have got a reroll and a kickoff quite easily. I mean, I mean not having rerolls. It's IG5 and IG4 players that I... Like... Don't need much of an effort. Yeah. 
Ben being problematic there now. So this is his only real way to score. Just gotta blitz this this one and get in the end zone. And then uh, pass it with one of these. And, uh, roughing it. He should have had somebody here so he could hand it off to or something. Now he's got a hand off in like tackle zone. Going for the chain. Hey. And also getting the cash. I right, needed that so that now he can hand off to that guy. <laughs> I needed the removal. <laughs> Incredible. All right, so now he passes to this one, and then this one hands it off to him, and then he scores. Like it's not that it's not that difficult actually. Well, the handoff is a little complicated. Yeah, it's a five. Two plus. Sons. Yeah, five four three. It's not crazy though, is it? Five four three. Well. <laughs> oh, you well. can just lob it straight away with the edge five. Fails. I don't know if that was better than passing to him. Maybe. Probably not. Probably better to pass to him. Two, three is better than a four. Probably not even a four. Might be a four. A two three is better than a four, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Hello, Dr. Bosco. My brain is refusing to work now. Now that I said Martin Septim should be sectioned. <laughs> I mean, I they say they play like his Amazons are uh, AB9 or 10. And Dodge 5 and Movement 10. <laughs> And it's working, it's working more or less. It's working. Yeah. Okay, now it's not working. What's going to happen with the heat? Two Zons out. And the Edge 5 out for Mr. Page. So now the Zons are down to three, four, five, seven, seven players. My god. And the Chaos have ten. So the chaos failed one of ten, and the chaos failed two, and the L's uh, Zons failed two of nine. So there you go, a little bit unlucky. Also, the chaos not coming back. I thought very, very unlucky there. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty unlucky. Really? Yeah, it's pretty unlucky overall. Well, he just need to score in two. Yes. <laughs> and and Mr. Page had to defend in two, but he did this, which is probably not the best way to defend a two turn. I like this, no safe moves first, just get it to him, and then you know where you stand. Alright, I will get it to the stand firm so you can stand on the sideline. But anyway. Relief all the pressure. <laughs> Establish dominance. <laughs> This was terrible by Mr. Page. He's gonna put someone on the sides. Yeah, it was ge genuinely terrible because they've only got one player. They've got seven players. Like all they can do is is do exactly what they've done here, and uh, and you've got no counter play to it apart from what this yeah, guy. Yeah, Page has on. strength and tackle enough, more or less, to cover both sides. So yeah, guess you've got to go for the four plus three plus or. Blitz and then base, which is fucking lame, but I guess you can try it. It's gonna be the blitz and the base. Yep. Get a claw palm hit. Woo! Hello, Oriel and Hello there. Let's drop the base. Base, base, base. Now 
Now it's a little better. Mm. See, I would have had it on the Garda, right? And then the Garda would have uh, would have been giving guard for the Blitz to clear. And then uh, also, that guy would have fended and not got... Oh, wow, he's wasted the lightning ball. What a lunatic. What a, That was a terrible ball. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. That's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, not what I would have done, but who can say if it's right or wrong? So save yourself a 3 plus? Tunnel. Looking good for the sons if the heat benefits them a little. Yeah. yeah, it should benefit the Zons now, right? Only 7 rolls versus 10 for the Chaos, so this should be really good for the Zons. Statistically. Oh, they got one oh. KO roll back. And no heat, but only one KO back is rough. Yeah, yes. so Mr. Page has all the uh, whole team. Yeah. I still has to score two task downs, at least. Without the, the thrones scoring again, so yeah, it's rough. Now he's uh, setting for a proper uh, defense. <laughs> like yeah, minimize hits. Take it easy. It's okay if he scores. You get the ball after, and he needs to score twice. And you, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Spaffing the wizard was unbelievable. Hated nearly every player. <laughs> Not in Septim is made in this match, but <laughs> he's 2 0 up, so that's alright, isn't it? Well, so, Sandy Double was very similar. He was ultra aggressive, ultra aggro all the time, basing and all that, and it worked. Mm. But it was also that, uh, what is he doing there? What, what, basing, you know, uh, that absolutely mental monstrous orc team was like. This is not going to end well, but it ended well. Mm. Now, on the other hand, the bodies are starting to pile up. Mm. Mr. Page is smashing. <laughs> but yeah, that was really unlucky, wasn't it? One out of three coming back. He's been very unlucky with the Kill Ross in general. Yeah, he's made one out of one out of six KO rolls. <laughs> oh no, one out of, even less, even worse than that. Like something like yep. two out of eleven, which is not what you need, is it, against this rowdy team? <laughs> so now he can. Uh... Just elf screen this, but he's put someone in contact. Yeah, there's gonna be a blitz, he's gonna be basing the ball. Mr. Page do? Does he just try and score this turn? Which is a bit mad, isn't it? Or he can just guarantee the score next turn. I think he just guarantee the score next turn. He has moved to the left and he's uh, sorted. Yeah. Three dice blitz. Love to see it. See the pile on. I'm not sure about that. You could have used that player to screen a little or be a bother in some point. Oh, is he going for the score of the star? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He does the pass. <laughs> he does the pass and catch. Unbelievable. And At the this GF5. Time, the GF5. Well, it's a GF4, so the pass was what? A 3? Yeah. 3 3 2 to score. 
Did he do a score? That's all right with a reroll. It's all right. And the, and the failure state wasn't that bad, was it? Like, uh, you know, yeah, the Suns on the yeah. side. There is no chance the Suns could have got the ball, so. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Finally made some. Finally made some uh, KO rolls. Lost his Rackler. Oh, wow. Lost the strength for. And the Warrior. Yeah, this is the, the IG5. I worry, yeah. Oh, yeah, IG5. Yeah, lost the IG5. So now, the Chaos have got nine players and the zones have got eight so not looking bad at all for the zones but they still wish they had that wizard up their sleeve though <laughs> yep up the wizard sleeve <laughs> sorry Again, leaving both uh, sides completely open. Yep, in 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 exactly the same situation. <laughs> and it's gonna happen exactly the same. Marty Septim is gonna do exactly the same play. Yeah, you would think so. Because there you? is no other play. I mean, you heard like, oh, I'm gonna take control of the center or something like that. Yeah, you would think so, but it doesn't look like he's setting up to go as aggressive this time. Blitz! Oh, he didn't mark the the guy either. <laughs> Oh well, there you go. This is looking bad now for uh, Martin Septon. Very bad. Now the free sideline is suddenly not free. Everyone's base and someone's getting pommed. There's nothing sexist about losing sleeve, Dr. Mama Bosco. It's 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 where they keep their spells and stuff. That's all. <laughs> what, a, what do you well, think it means? Why can't the be sexist? <laughs> it's a sleeve. Everybody, you know, has clothes with sleeves. Exactly. <laughs> oh, he's based the ball. Beautiful. Yeah, everyone's based up. This is very problematic. Oh, That's it all depends. Alien. All depends on the one in nines. If the one in nines work more or less, you have a chance. Yep. It's this lovely punch here. Oof. Surely should. Have, nah, I guess. Yeah, I guess you, you put in the team reroll and dodge him first. Well, her first, so you're not giving up the claw hit. No, no assist in 2D! Oh, okay. Okay, dodge there in 2D, that one. I guess that works. Probably works better. Alright, good play. Good play from my Inceptim. He seems to have uh, get cast, recovered. Get the cast. Get the cast. So instantly means he was the best play. Yep. He seems to have recovered from his temporary insanity for the through the first half, or for the first 10 turns of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Played a really good turn there. <laughs> and doesn't have to worry about the edge five on defense. That's lovely, isn't it? Because he can do some crazy stuff. Oh, it was absolutely insane, Volk. He's, he's made some insane plays. Not accept him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but. I mean, you can go with a high risk, high reward uh, argument, but yeah, I think there were other options. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh oh, now this is a bit, this is fucking rowdy. Just loses if he rolls a one in nine there. Loses if he rolls a one in nine here. Loses if he rolls a one in nine here. <laughs> oh boy, three one in nines that would have lost him the match instantly. That is a fucking. That was a move that I, I didn't like it, but all the dice have worked, so it was great play. Well, it doesn't follow. And that was another one in nine because the lame woman doesn't have luck. Yeah, I could have re-rolled that one though. Hey, he failed the last one in nine. That doesn't matter because he made the others. 
Okay, no, it was a one in three tackle. And he does fail that one in nine as well. It is it is Fimea Pensable. Uh, what's still calling me Jack? <laughs> Jack has a gentle voice, but he's more crazy than me. <laughs> that was a that was a wild turn. Like he wasn't in a good spot, obviously, but just basing the ball there, where you're just gonna get surfed, guaranteed, is is fucking mental. Like. <laughs> I don't know, like, that's, that was a real wild, like, he, he, he did a really good, sensible turn the turn before, and then he just did a fucking mental one to follow it up. If, if the failed state means nothing to you, that's all uh, you go. Yeah. And he didn't follow up with that guy, so this, this dodge was easier than it had to be. And he gets the dodge, gets the hit, so it was still risky anyway, and wow. That's a very decent <laughs> scatter for the chaos. Well, again, another year if I fail. Yeah, he's going to put the reroll in. <laughs> and fails again. And fail again. <laughs> Two snake GFIs. Not many players left for the Zons now. Can chain him there. Blitz and do things. Maybe these guys had to move. I don't, I don't know if just standing these guys up was a good idea. Maybe they had, like maybe this had to be a blitz on the ball and then after they hit that or something. And oh, now he, one now in he nine. Yeah, now he does an early one in nine fail and now it's looking very dodgy. Now it's looking very dodgy. Wrestled. Get wrestled on. Really, still in the four yet. Gets the knockdown. So freeze up his vampire. Oh, this didn't pile on. Didn't pile on for the first. I think uh, first time in all the game. Yeah, not not just in all the game, in, in Mr. Page's entire life, I, I believe. <laughs> 15 for the Amazons. <laughs> they have a relatively easy 2D on the ball, but they don't have tackle. Yeah, yeah, the lack of tackle is a problem. But he does get the block and then blitz, doesn't he? Okay, now he's going to blitz the block, same difference. Yeah, maybe he just misclicked it. Yeah, we, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll cut Mr. Page some slack there. Maybe he just misclicked the, the not pile on. Oh, that works out great, doesn't it? That he's got this guy freed up. To pick it up and punt. Maybe this is a punt, right? Oh, he's not picking it up. Okay, that's mental again. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing to lose if you try to pick up there. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Was a four plus three plus into victory. Yeah. So yeah, Mr. Page doing the right thing here, blitzing and then getting downfield with his van. And then try to get him the van. And obviously now with him not picking the ball, this guy doesn't have to be blitzed to get the ball. So he can just go and try and try for the free roll, pick it up. He does pick it up. Brilliant. Wow, Martin Septim has blown this. Look at that. that was, this play just wasn't possible if he picked up the ball, was it? Like, okay, he's getting hit straight away, but they've still got to hit him and knock him. Like, they've got to roll a pal. Yep. It was really hard to free up the tackler because of the stand firm there. And this is going to overtime. Yep. Wait, let's roll some dice first, just in case. Yeah, one to the left to avoid this crowd scatter. That's fair, that's fair. Yes, he should have done. Also, there should have been a bolt available to uh, my second level, wasn't it? You can be my wingman anytime. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad, Oriolensis. Probably worse than Southgate, I would say. 
I'd say worse than Gareth Southgate. Hello, Hancock. Thank you very oh, much for Hancock the glorious Brent. raid. <laughs> Champcock. <laughs> that sounds rude. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Hancock and Hancock viewers. I have to say that the Mr. Page rolled maybe too many dice. Yeah. This yeah. time before scoring, you know I Yeah. Yeah, I think just bang it in at this point, right? And then because you, you you need these re-rolls for equity and for overtime, like, you know, it if he was just gonna win. Then fair enough, make those blocks, use your reroll if you fail and then score and, and win. But when when you're behind and you're just going for the overtime, just make sure you get it in. <laughs> and now a heat favours Mr. Page. In overtime. And so does the toss. Boy howdy. Nobody affected by the heat. What happens here? Nobody can roll a six in this game anymore. <laughs> it's ten versus nine? No, ten versus... Yeah, ten versus eight. Ten versus eight in favour of Mr. Page. And he's got the ball. And he has AG5, an AG4, a strength four, blotch. Yeah, and Martin Septum has spooned his wizard. <laughs> and only has one tackler which is exposed to a straight line uh, blitz. <laughs> yep. Yep. Choosing to. Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't, can't really protect anyone. Like it's that. very difficult. It's very difficult having the so few players, but. Yeah. He could have. He could have protected it, couldn't he? he could yeah. Put it, put it one back. Because this is what you're relying on, as you say, to end up go for the ball. I well, hope he rolls a double one again. That is always a good plan. <laughs> Pray for snakes. The classic uh, miracle uh, defense, you know. <laughs> yeah. Pray and hope for the best. Yeah. Let Ooh. the opponent roll many, many dice, you know, so he has to fail yeah. at some point. <laughs> Woo! Flip me, guys. All we need is a quad skulls from the opponent. <laughs> they are possible. We have seen them before. We have seen them before. Could happen in a row. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's doing all the double like one! That, like that, and that suddenly things get complicated. <laughs> that was the strategy. Unlucky. That was a tragedy. <laughs> That's all he had to do. Wait for the inevitable double one. That's how you get the ball off him. Why didn't you blitz from this side? Couldn't you blitz from this side? Then just go and pick up the ball. And then you've got to stand firm so you don't get surfed. And you can put in guard to 1D him. Maybe 2D him if you make a dodge first. He's going for the ball. Oh. No, he, do, he doesn't like going for the ball. Uh, I don't really know why, but he doesn't really like going for the ball. Wow, Mr. Page might just go for the dodge in the tackle zone, pick up the ball in the tackle zone. It's, it's a two plus. Exactly, yeah. Like it's not even hard, is it? He can just. This is uh, yeah. Players. Okay, he's going for the chin to stand firm, guy. Doesn't doesn't pull it off. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then come back into the cage here. Well, there you go. I mean, 
all of them to plus with rerolls and you know with dodge and sure hands. <laughs> That's why you should have gone to pick up the ball because yeah, there is no difference between having a player there or not having a player there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed, Rig, indeed, indeed. I, I lost sight of the strategy there. <laughs> yes, 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 the snake strategy, you know. So many games have been won by that, so many games. Oh, and this wasn't in the cage at all. Um, and there was 2D on the ball, but he failed the rolls, and now Mr. Page is away, and he has won. Wow. Well, not yet. A, a three dice blitz to make first. There we go. Instant pile on here. No. He got KO. Pile on! Pile on! Go for the cast! Go for the speed! I know, it's <laughs> like 90 speed. Beat. I mean, what would we rate them? How would we rate them, Volk? Like, for entertainment, I'd say this was like a 10. For, uh, for people playing like lunatics. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty entertaining, isn't it? If we're rating how well the coach has played, I would not give this a ten. <laughs> From a tactical, strategical uh, point of view, doubts. From a playing blue ball as you read it in the manual and the fluff of the game, perfect ten. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, Bazza, maybe. No, st things can still happen, right? Things could have still happened. But, um... I think it now is uh, done. Yeah, now yeah. move the ball up, and then roll dice. <laughs> hey. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Mordred, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> how, in, how insulting would Artemis be right now? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. We have seen a furniture fly <laughs> running around the warehouse. Oh, man, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't surf him, whatever you do. Don't surf him, Mr. Pitch. Whatever you do, do not surf him. Oh, God, terrible play. Terrible. But, but at all levels, you, you get absolutely nothing by doing a surf here, except viewer yeah. uh, points, maybe someone offering him chips for a surf or something like that. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe. That, that's, that's a fair thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's fair, dog to the dog, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's not Yak Mordred, it's Fahimir. <laughs> there is more than one Spanish guy who... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I am 100% free of any involvement in any cheating ring at all on PS4. <laughs> because as a proper human being, I play on PC. And I have a PC. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and there you go, there was a game 2-3 for uh, Mr. Page. Incredible, yeah, 26 AV breaks, pretty brutal in the end, made loads of chaos, loads of injuries. 70 blocks, 70 blocks, those yeah. are big numbers there. Yeah, that's a lot of blocks. And uh, yeah, it kind of went the way you kind of expected, apart from... It was a double one that got the situation for the Zons rather than the Wizard. And yep. then, uh, but apart from that, he kind of wouldn't really, wasn't really that surprising, you know? He banged on the Amazons as you kind of thought he would. He, he had two Tackle Pommers and another Tackle Mighty and loads of strength and Mighty and and not shy from giving up blocks as he might intercept him. Uh, no, no, Martin Septim decided that he was going to, you know, straight to the face and there you go, that's what happened. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Congratulations, Mr. Page. Commiserations, Martin Septim. Thank you very much, Fimea, for joining us as always. Absolutely glorious. Glorious to be here, as always. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.